Hi guys, Top Hops here, and today I am over at the mall, but before we go inside, I wanted to talk about something kind of interesting with Funko in general. I don't know if you guys saw the other day, but Funko actually put up their first ever trailer for the brand new video game coming next year. It's called Funko Fusion, and it looks like it's gonna be pretty interesting. And I understand that it doesn't come out until 2024, but it does look really nice so far, and it seems pretty early on because they only showed very few clips of actual gameplay, but I'm still super excited about it. Also, for anybody wondering, it seems like they only have the NBC Universal license so far in the game, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they get more for it. And anyways, the reason that I'm talking about this today is because we're going over to GameStop to see what new figures they've got, and I saw that there's also going to be console versions coming out, and when they do, I'm going to be pre-ordering every single one just for fun. And now I guess enough chatting about Funko Fusion because that doesn't come out till next year. Let's go into GameStop. All right, so I've made it to the section, and it seems like the main new thing that they have in is the brand new Little Mermaid ones. And it seems like from the ones that they've got over here, the only two that I need are Prince Eric and Ursula because Ariel, I did pick up the Diamond Edition one already over at Toys R Us and then the King Triton I got there as well. They had an entire section out a few days ago and now I'm debating on getting the other ones that I need. Like, do I grab Prince Eric and Ursula? Maybe. And then I also noticed up at the top that they do have the Ariel and Friends and then besides that, they've got like some of the ones from Bob's Burgers, we've got Avatar, a bunch of Dragon Ball, way too many of the ones from Dungeons and Dragons. The only problem that I have with this set is that a lot of them are just people pops. If they were like other things Things, you know, a little bit more like less human, I think it would have been way better. But I still really enjoy them. I just don't know how many of these I'm gonna actually be picking up. And then over here we've got Flava Flav, which is one that I've actually been debating on for a little while now. And I'm looking around a bit more. Okay, this is interesting. They do have Groot as well as Groot in onesie. And this one I do not have. But I do have the Iowa Groot. I still don't know how to pronounce that one. That one where he's kind of like translucent and white. I believe it's the exact same pop, just like a different color. Or at least that's what it looks like. And of course it's not on the back, so we're not gonna be able to tell. And then looking a little bit lower, it seems like they've got a lot of the t-shirt bundles that we see every time, as well as some of the bigger figures down here, like Welcome to My Nightmare. This one here is Alice Cooper, I believe. Yeah. Then we've also got the Cindy Lauper and the Zion Williamson that I believe my brother already has. Yeah, I think so. And so out of this section here, I'm probably going to be picking up a couple of things, but just for fun, I'm going to make it a surprise. So I'll let you know when we get back to the office, but I'm thinking it's going to be something from around here. And just like that, everybody, we are out of GameStop. And now before we go home, I did want to open something up with you guys because I was actually able to get one soda. They had it just sitting by itself, and I know that I do already have the chase for Obi-Wan, but I wanted to test my luck again. And so here we go. Let's find out if we're going to be getting it. And if you don't know, it's actually him as like a hologram, which would be really cool to have two of. All right, I'm not looking in the bottom, and ooh, this looks like just the normal Obi-Wan, but it's still a fun soda to have. And my dad's a big Star Wars fan. Maybe he would want it in his collection. And well, it was worth a shot. So now let's go back to the office and check out every single pop that I picked up. Alrighty, so we are back and I ended up getting three, well, four things while I was there. You saw the soda a second ago. So anyways, let's get into the pops that I didn't tell you I picked up, which is I believe pretty much everything. And the first thing that I grabbed was Flava Flav because I did want the first one when it released, I think back in like 2010, 2011, but it is way too expensive now. And so I thought the updated version would suffice. I mean, it still looks like Flava Flav actually even more than the original one. And so anyways, it was really cool that I was able to get this one today because they only had like one or two of them left. Then the other one that I grabbed, the other Funko Pop that I got, because I did get something else as well, was Ursula from the brand new Little Mermaid. And it's kind of funny, but these boxes here, they seem faded, even though they're brand new. It's probably just because they went with more of a pastel color, because you can see up here, like that pink kind of looks like it's supposed to be a little bit purpley, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be. And anyways, this is one that I did want to pop out of the box really quickly, because I feel like there's something going on here, probably on the backside. Because I know that Funko loves to hide little details in their figures, I always like to check and her dress is pretty detailed with like all of the bumps on it and then oh this isn't really on the back but when you flip her over on the bottom you can see she's got all like the suction cups from her tentacles which is definitely interesting so a cool figure to have and now the only one that I need is Prince Eric and then I believe I have every single one and I do understand that I could have picked that one up today because it was right next to Ursula actually now that I think about it why didn't I get Prince Eric what are you gonna do and now let's get into the last thing that I picked up actually before we do that let me show you guys something that arrived when I got home. There was a package on my porch from Big Bad Toy Store, and when I cracked it open, there was actually five sodas inside, so I figured we might as well open up these today, too. But before we get into them, let me open up the other thing that I actually picked up from GameStop. It was the U2s, and I ended up getting the last one they had here of Saitama from One Punch Man. It's one that I've been wanting for a while now, and because they didn't have too much that I was looking for over at GameStop, I figured, why not? Let's grab him. And if you guys want to see the rest of the section of what they had going on, there they are. And there was also some sponsors 
SpongeBob one's a little bit lower, it might be a little bit hard to see in that. But I believe, if you guys are wondering, they had, let me think about it here, Plankton, they had Mr. Krabs choking and a Patrick. I'm not sure which one. But I didn't need those because I'm completely up to date on the SpongeBob ones. And anyways, let's get into Saitama here and see what the quotes are as well as how the figure's looking. Okay, so it says having overwhelming strength is pretty boring. Then on the back it says human beings are strong because we have the ability to change ourselves. And if you guys want to take a look at the figure in the box, here he is. A really nice figure. And this is also one that I do want to pop out of the box because I'm loving the tiny little mouth on this it looks just like the anime okay yeah wow this is a great figure and i especially love how they made it look like he's kind of like just about to take off in the air and then he does have his fist forward and then like a little bit of dust behind him as well as the cape blowing in the air like youtube's always does a great job with their figures and that's why i wanted to pick up this one today Alrighty, now let's get into the sodas and i showed you guys the oswald and for some reason they only let me pre-order one of this guy so i'm hoping it's the chase because i haven't been able to find this one anywhere else and the other two that we've got here is felix the cat and i do have two of that one and then we've got a ha 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 really great one bedtime bear and now i think because we only have one of the oswald we might as well start with him or actually you know what let's do him last and i think felix the cat is going to be going first and these ones here are a little bit more limited than usual because both felix the cat and bedtime bear are only 7,500 pieces and then when it comes to oswald for anybody wondering ooh, he is 15,000, so not as rare but anyways i've got the wrap off and if you guys want to see what the felix the cat soda is looking like there he is and then it looks like the chase is him with his bag and if i'm gonna be honest i don't really remember what he puts in his bag is it for a bowling ball or just like random things someone's got to remind me in the comments and let's find out if we got that um it doesn't look like it on the first one but i gotta say this is a really nice soda like there's something about it it looks almost exactly like felix the cat yeah i mean come on guys i'm taking a look at the front of the can and then i'm taking a look at the soda the eyes are like his little pupils i really enjoy that they did that because then it doesn't really take away from the figure at all it's literally just like a perfect little felix the cat i'm loving it Alrighty, so i guess it's time to crack into the second one here and because he does have the bag he'd probably feel a little bit heavier and if I'm gonna be honest, I can't tell. And so let's just pull this one out and find out if he does have it. And <laughs> I'm not seeing anything in his hands. But I mean, what are you gonna do? It's still a cool soda to have two of, and maybe I'll do something with it in the future. I'm just not exactly sure what. Like, do I know anybody else that likes Felix the Cat? I feel like I can come up with somebody. And so there we go, everybody. The first two sodas open. Now let's get into Bedtime Bear. And I believe this one, he is flocked, and this one's feeling a little bit heavier. So let's do the other one first to find out if I'm possibly correct, and maybe this is gonna be the common. But I'm gonna be honest, it is a little bit hard to tell because sometimes the bubble wrap makes it feel heavier or lighter so it'll be interesting no my gosh wait uh this is the flocked one <laughs> that is weird because it definitely felt lighter and i gotta say i am really enjoying this chase so the bottom of his feet aren't flocked but the entire body is even his stomach all righty bedtime bear i will pop you down there and let me check out the pog it says you found the chase bedtime bear with cap oh uh wait it says bedtime bear with cat, but this is a flocked bedtime bear. Maybe they got the pog wrong. Either way, it's still a really cool one, and this was limited to one out of 1,250. So a pretty limited soda. And now let's get into this, because is it going to be bedtime bear without cap or just not flocked? I'm not sure, and let's find out together, I guess. So let me see here. Is it going to be another flocked one? I doubt it. No, this is not flocked, but it definitely felt heavier, and so I guess they got the pog wrong, because, yeah, he still has the cap. And then this one here just says bedtime bear. But now Funko, I'm gonna be honest, he has the cap in both. What's going on here? Alrighty, so now it is time, everybody. We've got Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Now, is this gonna be the chase? I don't know, and I'm not exactly sure what the chase is, because it doesn't look like the silhouette is different. Is it maybe gonna be flocked, perhaps? I'm not gonna know till we open it up. So anyways, let's just get into this here and find out if we did get the chase, and it's not looking like it so far. Okay, so here he is, and also another one very similar to Felix the Cat, where he looks pretty much exactly like Oswald. Like, when you take a look at the front, I mean, come on, it's pretty much exactly the same. And anyways, let's just find out what the pog says. It says, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit limited to one out of 12,500, so no, this isn't the chase. But still a fun soda nonetheless and anyways i hope that you guys did enjoy today's video because that is pretty much everything for me and i guess i'll see you tomorrow